Do you see a garbage truck? Yeah. What day does garbage come? Um, Thursdays? Thursdays. Thursdays. Does Wyatt like garbage trucks? Hi guys, so it is October 4th, Thursday, October 4th, Thursday, and I lost my mucus plug yesterday. Very, very exciting, but also means absolutely nothing if you all know. My mom said that I could go into labor within two weeks, that's what that means, and my body's going in the right direction, so that's awesome. But yeah, <laughs> I told my husband last night that my mucus plug fell out and then my mom said that the whole two week thing and then he freaked out and started cleaning everything. So we are in baby mode, uh, very much baby mode. We're very excited, very, very, very excited. But as you can tell, I'm in my comfy clothes, nice sturdy hair up in a whatever this is. And I'm wearing my husband's shirt and shorts and my slippers because I I'm running out of clothes that fit me and I'm just uncomfortable and I just am tired and I don't care. I woke up last night and I had the worst nightmare. Like I don't even, my husband woke me up, I was hyperventilating. It was a horrible dream. I won't share it with you because it's just, there's no point. Um, it was a very vivid dream though. But yes, yeah, so we are in baby prep mode and I thought that I did promise you guys some daily vlogs and I look like trash, but I am going to vlog anyways. But yes, yeah, so baby mode for us means we are cleaning the whole house. This is what we did with my son when he was born. Oh, there's socks on the floor. Oh, I am doing laundry. As you guys know, I always do laundry. I feel like I'm always doing laundry. I have been doing little loads every, I don't know, like two days just to stay on top of them because I hate coming home with like lots and lots of laundry. Um, I'm cleaning the floors like every day, which I know for some of you is like, oh my God, OCD much. But we have all hardwood floors, like as you can see, and there's already leaves I just cleaned. Um, we have all hardwood floors except for our basement, which is carpeted. So, you know, I have to clean on a regular basis else it gets really gross and dusty and then my daughter starts having allergy issues. So, um, I do sweep and I do do all that on a every other day basis when I'm not pregnant. But now it's an everyday basis because I don't want to come home to dirtiness. So there is that. Also, we have one of our plans on keeping the kitchen clean is paper. Paper, paper, paper. Um, I know a lot of you are going to be like, how wasteful, Kelly, oh my gosh, the environment, you're supposed to be somewhat green and crunchy and blah, 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 blah. But again, somewhat, not completely I am. Um, I picked up a bunch of plates and bowls from Sam's Club um, last week or the other week when I was out there, out there with my mom. And that's what we do. That's what we did with my son. We ate out a bunch with my son before he was born. Just because we didn't want to come home to dirty dishes or have molding food in the fridge or have, you know, ickiness in our dishwasher. You know, that's just, again, unneeded stress. So, since we are about, you know, ready to go, we have implemented the paper plate and paper bowl rule. So, we don't do it all the time. You know, it's like one or two weeks out of our life of having babies. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that is starting today. Also... We are trying to clear out our fridge. We're eating only at home. We're trying to clear out all of our food so nothing goes bad. I'm only I'm going to start grocery shopping once a day. And then also we're um, stocking up our deep freezer in the garage with frozen foods for when we come home. What else are we doing for baby? Getting ready for baby. Again, we're just cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Laundry, laundry, laundry. My husband cleaned all the bathrooms last night because there's nothing worse than coming home to icky bathrooms. We're going to have to keep that maintained, which if you know, with kids, is really, really difficult. As you can hear, I'm doing laundry right now. But I wanted to show you, my husband cleaned up his area finally. Kind of. His computer stuff. And then we just kind of have that, the strollers back there, and laundry. Yes, honey. There's that. What? You're watching? What are you watching? Oh, I see. I see. So, I am not the type of parent who just loves, like, my kids watching gobs and gobs of TV. I actually, Wyatt didn't really watch TV for the first year of his life. Um... But I'm pregnant and I'm tired, so if I can get some type of work done with him watching 20, 30 minutes of PBS Kids, I will do that. <laughs> so yeah. So other than that, we are, let's see, I got my breast pump yesterday. This website called, oh, get it out. 
this website called Breast Pumps Direct. Uh, they are letting me review one of their breast pumps, which is the Amita Purely Yours Ultra. Um, as you can see, this is not a review by any means. I will do a full review after I use it for a month. Um, it comes with a nice little carry-all bag. It's a dual pump. It's got a suction and speed. Uh, it's got all different types of phalanges in terms of fitting everybody's breasts, you know, different sizes. It's got a nice cooler with... Um, ice packs that fit nicely in it and then there's also some other things that are included in it that aren't listed like a manual hand pump attachment which I think is really awesome uh, and then so you can do it manually and it's got a car adapter I don't know if you can see that things that are also included um, which for me that's awesome like I had the Amita purely yours just the normal one from two years ago with my son and I actually lost some of the attachments which um, I can replace and I probably should but I, I th it's really awesome that they sent me this one that I can review because it's just like now I don't have to worry about the attachments A and B I wanted to try because I thought mine was losing some suction because um, it was two years old but yes yeah, so the only difference between this one and the one that I have that I've seen so far I don't know I haven't tried it but is that it comes with a car adapter which is awesome seriously it's awesome I had to milk myself like by hand <laughs> when I was uh, nursing my son on a trip but also it has a different bag and I think the maybe the suction and speed might be a little bit stronger so we'll see I'll share that with you guys later but again uh, breastpumpsdirect.com they have great deals they price match and they have free shipping right now for uh, orders over $70 and they also carry Medela, uh, Hygieia, um, all different types of brands so check them out but so I have to sterilize that <laughs> That is one of the things that I will need to do for baby prep. Sterilize that. We have the car seat ready to go. And go upstairs. It's kind of dark. Sorry. My kids' rooms are all clean, which I don't know if you can see that. This is my daughter's room. I don't ever show it. I don't know why I'm doing it now. But her room is clean because I like my kids' rooms to be clean. I cleaned all of their bedding just so that way the bathroom's clean. That way it's ready for them. My son's room, of course, is always a mess where his bed is because he naps. But here's this room. It's I need to put those baby clothes away. The closet is still organized. But um, my uncle is actually, woo! My uncle has actually decided to come out and paint the baby's room on the 26th of October, which, if you guys remember, the 26th is my induction date. So if baby doesn't come out and I have to be induced on the 26th, he will be here painting the room while we are in the hospital. So it doesn't really matter because she'll be sleeping in here, which we have kept the room somewhat clean, which is nice. Um, she'll be sleeping over there, of course. And there's my little walkway. I swear it's so hard to walk through here to get pee every morning and every night. But, um, yeah, so she'll be in here anyway, so it won't matter. And it's my uh, daughter's weekend at her dad's, so she can stay there. Well, she'll be there, and my son can stay in her room while the paint's drying. And we're going to get a low VOC paint, so it shouldn't be an issue. But, yeah, so... That's what else. Um, and then I have right here, obviously, my makeup that I want to take. I'm not taking a lot. I'm taking the bare minimum because I didn't even wear makeup after my son was born or my daughter or during even. So just in case, I brought that. And then there is my go bag down there, which I will show you guys all in my hospital bag. There is another bag. And then that's all I'm taking in terms of, like, bulky bag. My husband's going to take his own bag and then also a computer bag, but that's it. Um... This is the blanket that I will be taking, and I will be taking my own pillow as well. So, woo, I am out of breath. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will do a full hospital bag um, video that will be up next week. I hopefully won't go into labor. Our plan kind of as of right now is for me to not go into labor until I hit 37 weeks. Right now I'm 36 weeks and some odd days. Um, this weekend is Columbus Day. My husband has that day off. We need to go to the Apple store so bad, um, in Ann Arbor to exchange my phone because my warranty will be up in November and it is like acting up. Like I haven't been able to be on Kick Messenger or, you know, do things that I've wanted to on it. So yeah, also my husband is, we're contemplating, uh, he... We're up for an upgrade for the iPhone 5, and he thinks that I should have it, and that would kind of be like, I don't know. 
So that might happen too. I don't know. But regardless, we need to make a trip out to Ann Arbor this weekend. So the baby needs to stay until then. Like I said, it's Columbus Day weekend, so he has Monday off. So it would just be awesome if the baby would start coming out Sunday and then he'd have like an extra few days off that following week with me. So I don't know. We will see. But that is the plan so far. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, we're just kind of in a frenzy now. It's just like maintaining the house. Um, Getting ready. I actually was going to ask this. Well, I've already asked this to people. I really, 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 really want to get a boppy. Like, I didn't have a boppy for my daughter. I didn't have a boppy for my son either. And it's just like, I don't know. I didn't need one. I didn't need a boppy. Let's just say that first. I didn't need a boppy with my son. I figured what our mindset was, was we will go, because we spent a lot of money getting ready for him. We bought like everything brand new because I didn't have any more baby stuff left over. We figured we would just buy whatever we felt like we needed after he came. You know, it's not that hard to like pop in the car, take a 15 minute drive to Babies R Us or to Target or wherever and pick something up. So I did not buy a boppy. Part of me really, really wants one this time around. I breastfed perfectly fine without pillows, without anything. I carried him around. I breastfed while shopping at Ikea. I breastfed, you know, just anywhere and everywhere. I didn't care. You know, it was not that hard for me. Um, I got some good muscles out of it, trust me. But, you know, I don't need a boppy. I have seen so many parents, though, who have loved their boppies for, like, putting their babies on them and stuff. And so now it's like, I kind of want one. <laughs> but they're like $34.99, I think, or maybe even more than that. And then you have to like buy a cover and stuff. So I was just wondering what your guys' advice was. I've gotten some good feedback on Facebook, but if you guys want to chime in and let me know what you guys thought about your boppies, that would be great. Um, we have not bought a bouncer, and I don't know if we will, because again... We're really trying not to spend unnecessary money on things that he, you know, because this is our last baby, so what are we going to do with it after, kind of. And those resale shops are such rip-offs. But, yeah, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. But I do want a boppy. <laughs> but so that's our, that's what we've kind of been contemplating these days is getting, do we get a boppy or do we not get a boppy? But maybe we'll make that decision after the baby's here. But, yeah, so now we're just, we're just kind of waiting. We're getting ready. We're waiting. I'm being very anxious. Um... I, yeah, I don't know. It'll be very, very interesting to see what happens. Um, I do want to say, my arm's getting tired, I'm sorry. I do want to say a very big thank you to everybody. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry if my last video came off as me think or sounding like I'm going anywhere. I'm not. Um, in terms of the vlog video world, I just, I was afraid that other people were going to leave. And so that was kind of what that was about. Also, I've been really emotional, but I've gotten such a great outpour of just emails and just nice comments. And it's, it's just been really, really nice. So I really appreciate that. So I'm not going anywhere. I am definitely going to share um, the arrival of this baby with you guys because I owe that to you at least. And, um... I'm, you know, our family's going through a big change, and I'm going to share it all with you, so, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. If I forget something, I'll probably see you guys later. Uh, but, yeah, I will have my hospital bag up next week and my giveaway up next week. And I think that's it. I, we are just really excited. We're super, super duper, 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 duper excited. Yeah. I don't think we're getting ready for baby in any other way other than that. So I will talk to you all later, and I'll keep you updated on my Facebook, like I said, on my Facebook fan page. Possibly Twitter, I don't know, because, again, I'm stupid. I don't really understand it. <laughs> and my Instagram, of course, uh, of my status and where I'm at. So thanks, guys. Oh, here's a question for you. I already have this on my Facebook, but for all you ladies who are not on my Facebook how soon after you lost your mucus plug did you go into labor? Because I have never lost my mucus plug before going into labor until now. So that's an interesting question that I'd love to know the answer to from you guys. So, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.